Hey viewers, welcome back to this YouTube channel Meer Academy, and it is Hamza Meer. My today's video is related with the second unit of your Pakistan Studies Geography P2, that is the climate of Pakistan. And in this video, I'm going to discuss about the last topic of climate of Pakistan. So before we move on, let me show you that what our today's topic is. Well viewers, here we have the topic right there on the screen that is droughts. Now before we move towards further points, let's first discuss the introduction of it or maybe the definition of the droughts that what droughts are all about. Now when we talk about droughts, now droughts is something which is a prolonged period of abnormal rainfall or low rainfall or maybe the shortage of water means there is no rainfall for a longer period of time which eventually create droughts. So I'm talking over here about two things. Number one, abnormally low rainfall or maybe no rainfall for a longer period of time. That is the first thing. And the second thing that I'm talking about over here is the shortage of water because of certain reasons which eventually lead towards the droughts. Now, uh, moving further, we are going to discuss about the causes of droughts over here that why mainly they are created. Now, as I said that it can be a low rainfall, it can be a shortage of water. So these causes are interlinked with the natural factors as well as the human factors. So let's see the natural factors first of all. Number one factor we have over here is the unreliability of rainfall. Now, when we talk about the rainfall, there are three things that we exactly are not aware about. Number one we have is, we exactly don't know that what exactly is the time of the rainfall. That is why mainly our farmers, they do not rely on the rainfall. The number two we have over here is the intensity of the rainfall that either it would be a heavy shower or a lighter one. We have no idea about it. The third one we have is the distribution of the rainfall that where exactly the rainfall would come so that is why our farmer mainly does not rely on it and we mainly rely on the canal irrigation which is the major factor behind the irrigation system of pakistan so the first reason is the unreliability of rainfall and that is a natural factor which eventually lead us towards a certain drought like condition the second one we have over here is the dry and hot winds now whenever we have dry hot winds it eventually lead towards the less moisture so when there would be a less moisture in the air the amount of rainfall would be low and eventually when there would be a lower rainfall it would eventually create a drought like condition third point we have over here is global warming now when we talk about the global warming Global warming is something which is the increase in temperature in the atmosphere because of certain reasons and over here when we talk about the natural factor the global warming is the one mainly which affects the evapotranspiration now this is a combination of transpiration and evaporation so I am over here talking about evapotranspiration so mainly global warming affects evapotranspiration, the movement of water in the atmosphere from land and water surfaces and plants due to evaporation and transpiration. Now which is expected to lead towards the increase in the drought in dry areas. So that is another natural factor. The next one we have over here is the human factors. Number one is deforestation. We know that the forestation or the forest are the one which mainly are the reason behind the transpiration because of which the rainfall are uh, the rainfall comes or get generated so when the humans they cut the forest and do the deforestation eventually they are playing their part and leading it towards the drought like condition which is eventually the low rainfall 
the next one we have over here is the unlined canals now as i said in the start it is not only related with the low rainfall but it is also somehow related with the shortage of water so when we talk about unlined canals you need to understand it that unlined means not cemented and when we talk about cemented it means lined up canals so as we have the unlined canals as you could see in the picture the water would eventually somehow erode the soil and change its path and it would not be able to reach to the required place where it is required so eventually the shortage of the water would get created next one is the unfair distribution when we talk about pakistan obviously we have certain kind of provinces over there not all the provinces have the availability of the tributaries like the punjab have or the sindh have the indus over there so when the government is basically taking a certain kind of steps regarding those distribution of water it might be an unfair distribution which can create a shortage as we know that the southern part of pakistan always have a low rainfall so if they would not provide them a proper water that unfair distribution might lead towards a shortage of it next one we have over here is over grazing as you could see that there are certain animals who are mainly grazing in the land now when we talk about over grazing it means that you are taking the animals at one place again and again and eventually what would happen it would remove the vegetation from that area and make the soil bare now when eventually the soil would be bare it would get exposed towards the water erosion of for example a flood comes so eventually it would remove the soil from there and it eventually lead towards the desertification process and that area would turn into a desert and there is no further vegetation over there which eventually lead towards the low rainfall next we have is the global warming uh we know that we have discussed that global warming over there in the natural factors in which we discuss about the vapor transpiration the effects on the vapor transpiration over here the humans are also taking their part in the global warming for example we are creating carbon dioxide in the air and we know that the characteristic of carbon dioxide that it is something which absorb heat so when we talk about the carbon dioxide generation it absorb heat and increase the temperature in the atmosphere obviously which would eventually affect the high temperature in atmosphere and leads towards a lower rainfall now the next one we have over here are the effects of droughts so now uh, mainly droughts have the two kind of effects number one we have is the effect of drought on the physical environment and the second one we have of the human environment means that the effects of drought on the physical and human so let's start from the very first one the physical environment we have the first point over here as desertification now as i said before the drought is something which is the prolonged period of low rainfall or low rainfall on for a longer period of time or the shortage of water so eventually either it's a low rainfall or no rainfall for a longer period of time one thing low rainfall and the second one the shortage of water both the things would definitely lead a process and reach it towards a desertification the shortage of water that is the second point so when you have low rainfall no water to provide the land area or a shortage of water because of any reason either a human factor or a natural factor eventually that land area would become a desert so that is the first thing second one we have over here is the drying up of rivers obviously just because of the drought the water would not come means that there would be less rainfall so just because of that's why the rivers would eventually dry up that is a effect on the physical environment because water they uh, the river they required water through the rainfall as well so when there would be no rainfall less amount of water would be given next one we have is the drop in water table we remember previously we discuss about the process of infiltration means the process of seepage of water when we had that land area and when the water comes because of any reason 
it mainly seeps underground and the underground water level rises now when there would be uh, when there would be no rainfall or a very low rainfall over there or a shortage of water eventually the underground water would not be able to get the water filled up so the underground water would reduce and there would be a drop in the water table next we have is the human environment the effects of drought on the humans how the first one is the population when you have a drought kind of a condition means no rainfall for a longer period of time eventually it would create a famine means the shortage of food because the rainfall is somehow linked with the agriculture we know that we need water for the agriculture for irrigation purposes and when there would be no agriculture there would be less production and eventually lead towards a shortage of food so a famine kind of a condition would create because of the drought next one is migration obviously when there would be a drought like condition at one place and there would be a shortage of food or resources just because of no rainfall you are unable to do the agriculture over there that is why people over there as we are talking about the population the population in that area would eventually become less because they would migrate towards those those areas where they have the ample amount of water for their irrigation purpose to provide it to the agriculture so migration would be done by the people that is an effect on the human environment next we have is the malnutrition this is also something which is related with the food means the health of the people there would be a huge kind of a crisis that would be created and a process of malnutrition would start flourishing because of the no water and the shortage of food the health of the people would be disturbed next we have is nomadic lifestyle we have discussed that previously in uh, so many videos before that nomadic lifestyle means that when the people they move from one place to another in search of food and water so when there would be a shortage of water and there would be no proper rainfall and we have a perfect example over here of deserts that in deserts we have a very low rainfall because of which we do not have a proper water over there available for the people so just because of that's why the lifestyle of the people becomes nomadic so they move from that place in search of a food and water the last thing we have over here is related with the economy of the people so obviously when there would be such kind of situations for the population or the people over there and the effect which has been generated by the drought on the human environment eventually because of all these reasons there would be a less export because of the shortage of production let me clear that properly because of the shortage of production means the low production would be there and just because of the low production the export would be less and eventually it would lead you towards a low economy means you would not be able to earn the foreign exchange and eventually when you have a less export so you would have to increase your import just because of this why the balance of payment would definitely would get affected and the country would eventually become in debt well this is it for the topic for today now please uh, do like the video if you think that it was useful and please don't forget to mention in the comment box don't forget to subscribe the channel as well and keep giving your opinions and your views into the comment box as well until for the next video khuda hafiz